What's up, guys? Embrace the grind here. Michael speaks again. Um, today is a different video for you guys. Rado Speed Effects review. You guys have been waiting for this thing for so long. It's finally here. Yes, this is the coveted Rado Speed Flex. See it from different angles. Beautiful flex panel. Have the gray liner in there. Black jaw pads. This is actually an adult medium with a small chin strap as, you know, pretty small chin. So, first point of emphasis I have on this helmet is the cam lock system for the chin strap. Now, cam locks, I will have to say, are better than ratchets. Um, it's just smoother, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because ratchets, you know, they're hard to, you know, really move. But for cam locks, man, these are smooth. All I gotta say, honestly. <clears throat> but um, yeah, if you haven't really done your research, um, this is how to really engage the chin strap or tighten it, I guess you could say. So just you. And also, one thing your helmet might not come off these stoppers. Mine did. But um, yeah, if it doesn't, then I, you would probably have an easier time trying to grab it because there'd be more room, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, so all you would have to do is just, it's all you gotta do, you just gotta pull. And, um, unlike the buckles, you know, there's no chance of this, you know, flying off. Unless, of course, you don't have your thumb screws tightened, there's a thumb screw right there. But, as you can see, unlike the ratchets, this has curvature in it up the top and a little bit there in the middle. It's like a riffle, I guess. There's a bunch of chin strap to work with here. So this fits pretty much all chins. And to release it, there is a clip, you know, right here. Press down. You'll hear, and you'll hear the clip press down here when you're wearing it. And then right there. Just take it down like that. Okay. Now... Let's get to the padding. Padding is very comfortable. Let me put it on real quick. The only thing that I have an issue with is like the jaw pads, but that's because I pumped them up, you know, and they'll get, you know, used to your chin, or not the chin, used to your jaws more. So, and it's memory foam padding, so it'll kind of leave an imprint there so that it's not uncomfortable. Um. It's super lightweight on your head if you if you've ever worn a football helmet before. You know it's heavy, especially shut football helmets from the nineties. <laughs> They're very heavy, but this right here, very thin bar on the face mask, very sleek helmet. But yeah, very good. Um, and then it, it might take you some getting used to, but from your head, you just grab your face mask, pull face mask, pull. But that's not going to give you the secure fit you want. So you're going to lock your hands. Press down. Face mask. Pull. And that should give you a good secure fit. And then take them off. Hold up. You just... You'll hear it in your helmet. Boom. Boom. And that's it. Um... Now you've gone over the pads, let's go to the shell. Obviously, first thing you probably notice is the flex panel. This nice, I guess, octagon over here. But actually this thing, you know, when you get a hit to the head, it'll flex in or out or to the side. It's um, <clears throat> like a Swiss Army knife, you know? It'll do, it'll just, I guess, distribute the the comp the point of contact i guess and that'll just kind of distribute to the pads and then the liner that's what the liner is for you know so that's not just pad on pad contact you actually have a liner to stop it from going to your brain but this um uh this is probably the th uh, third best 
No, second best. Helmet at preventing a concussion. Obviously, the vices. No, 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 I was right. I was right. Third best, because you got the vices zero two, vices zero ones, right L speed flex. Showed F7. <clears throat> Close fourth is showed F7. But, um. But no helmet can truly, you know, make a concussion impossible. Because what a concussion is, by definition, is your brain moving through your skull. There's just no way that a helmet can stop your brain from moving. But this is very good at making it to where, you know, your actual skull isn't being damaged at all. And really, the way that it sits on your head, your neck isn't going to go too many places either. That's really good. Also, the ventilation, which makes this helmet super light. You have vents right here, right here. This is what the speed really struggled with was great ventilation. And then you have just a bunch of vents all around the place. And, um, yeah, it's just really breathable helmet, really light helmet. All right, and then we're going to go to the face mask.